In Acts chapter 3, we read that Peter and John prayed for a paralyzed man at the gate of the temple. The man was instantly healed through the power of Jesus. This man was recognized by many temple goers because he had been lame from his mother's womb and he had been laid at the gate daily. Why had this man been laid at the temple gate daily? Because it outwardly represented his daily prayer and desire for God to heal him. Because this man was lame, he was unable to enter the temple and participate in the temple worship service. People for years had seen this man laying at the temple gate every day as they came to the temple to worship and pray. We can imagine their surprise then to find this man now completely healed. This was not some private, quiet healing. This was rather a public spectacle. As soon as this man realized that he was healed, he leapt up and he entered the temple with Peter and John, walking and leaping and praising God. This, of course, caused a commotion. And as people recognized this previously lame man, they came running to find out what had happened. Peter preached boldly to this crowd, explaining that it was through faith in the power of Jesus that this man had been healed. As Peter preached, we read that the priests, the captain of the temple, and the Sadducees all came. They were very upset that Peter and John were preaching to the people about the resurrected Jesus. And so they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day. We also read that about 5,000 men heard Peter's message that day, and they believed what he said. We see then that the Church of Jesus Christ rapidly grew from its earliest days, from 120 in an upper room to over 3,000 to now over 8,000 believers. Jesus still saves and heals today. Through faith in Jesus Christ, you and I are forgiven, accepted, and saved. The scriptures state that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever your need is today, I want to encourage you to completely trust in the power of Jesus to save, heal, and deliver. Mm -hmm.